even more in the more v4. Good morning YouTube! What's up everybody? I hope you're safe and healthy and happy and doing okay. Another first impressions video today on the channel. It's been a lot easier for me to do first run impressions videos during this training cycle because it doesn't require me to run in another shoe for 50 miles. So we're gonna keep doing these and then I figured after the marathon training cycle is over, then I will work on some full reviews for these shoes. But until then, today we are talking about my first impressions of the Fresh Foam More V4 from New Balance. Kind of a tongue twister. About nine months ago at this point, I reviewed the Fresh Foam More V3. I really liked this shoe quite a bit. And I think that the More V4 is quite similar to the V3. However, it does improve upon some of the things that perhaps some of you may not like about the V3. And uh, I'm impressed. Now, if you're really familiar with the Fresh Foam More V4, then you are probably looking at the shoe and saying, hey, that's a men's colorway. And that's correct because New Balance sent me a men's size nine. Not exactly sure why, probably something with supply issues. It's fine, we may do, it fits me, but there are some things that I might not be able to comment on as well as usual because I do believe that a men's size shoe just fits me a bit different. But overall, I do think I have a general understanding about how the shoe initially feels. So we're gonna talk about all that right now. But before we do that, the run footage. I do want to let you know that this shoe was sent to me by New Balance. However, they're not going to see this before you. They can't tell me what to say. And all of my opinions, as always, are my own. First, let's talk about the upper of the More V4. It is, in my opinion, an improvement upon the More V3. It looks a little sharper. I think the materials they used are better. And it's just a very soft and comfortable upper. In the midfoot on the lateral side, you got that big old New Balance logo. And if we turn the shoe around and go to the heel, you'll see it's a pretty sturdy heel counter. Holding these two shoes side by side, it's pretty evident that the upper is just better in the More V4. Here you'll see there's some kind of like plasticky looking overlays and then some stitching here in the back. And I'm not really nuts about that. I never really was nuts about that stitching. Um, and it's a really heavy kind of material that they use. Getting back to the V4, you'll see that it's, there's none of that kind of like weird overlay plastic stuff and there's no stitching in the back either. So that's an improvement in itself. Uh, one thing I will say though about the upper, both the V3 and the V4 is that it's a little bit hot. I get it, they're not really going here for a very breathable translucent upper that's gonna give you maximum speed and efficiency. No, they're going for comfort here and they definitely hit that mark. I just do wish it was maybe a little bit more breathable. Normally I comment on how the width of the shoe feels and the forefoot, but because this is a men's shoe, I feel like my experience with that part of it might be a little different than if it had been a woman's shoe. I do feel like it's pretty wide here in the midfoot and in the forefoot area, which is a good thing, um, but I put both of these shoes on, the More V3 and the More V4, on side by side, and the More V3 just fits me better. Again, though, it's a woman's shoe. Other than that, though, we have nice padding around the ankle collar, comfortable tongue, it's not gusseted, wasn't gusseted in the three either. And overall, I had no real problems with it, no hot spots, blisters, or irritation. And again, an improvement over the three. We love to see an improvement in growth in a running shoe. Moving on down to the midsole, you have a ton of Fresh Foam X 
here for your foot to enjoy. It's a full slab, no plates, no none of that, just some nice soft foam under your foot. New Balance is saying that they've also widened the platform for the Fresh Foam More V4. This helps to dampen impact and increase support, and they've also added or made better improved, that's the word you're supposed to use, they've improved the rocker feeling sensation as you go forward in your stride. According to the Running Warehouse website, this is the largest rocker featured in any of the fresh foam shoes that New Balance has. Comparing these two midsoles, now I've taken this to full review so it has 50 or over miles on it, and this only has 10 miles on it. I did two five mile easy runs in it, um, and I totally see the difference between the two shoes just by putting them on side by side. Now I know this is broken in a bit. Yes, sure. But overall, I think that I do feel the changes that New Balance is saying that they've made. The V3 feels a little bit more mushy to me, less energetic, uh, less responsive, if you will. Uh, it just feels soft, which we love soft. In the V4, you have a lot more cushioning than you do in the V3. However, this cushioning feels like they've leveled up a bit. It's a lively ride and it doesn't feel like a quicksand soft, like your foot's sinking into it. It feels a little bit more tight and uh, yeah, I guess lively and responsive are the words. I was trying to find a better word to describe that than the usual. Like I said, I've taken the shoe out for two five mile runs, both at easy pace. And that's what the shoe is made to do and it does it very, very well. I think this thing could just crush long miles under its midsole. It wouldn't even flinch. You will not feel the ground in this shoe. Like, ground who? You're just not gonna feel it. So if you're looking to feel the ground in a running shoe, then don't even look in the direction of the more V4. Stop looking. I know this shoe is not meant for tempo at all by any means. I did pick it up a bit in this shoe just to see what it would be like. It was fine, but yeah, it's not meant for that. It didn't feel like it could be meant for that. And I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but I would absolutely recommend it if you are looking for a shoe that when you're feeling banged up, you wanna take it out and just be comfortable and not feel like the ground is radiating through your body, like just have that protection under your foot. Um, and just for long runs, if you're a person who wants extra cushion on a long run, then this is gonna be a great option for you. Going back to what I said earlier about them widening the platform for more support, I think this shoe is pretty stable for a neutral shoe. Uh, you, again, you have that really wide platform. I mean, look at it, that is a nice, big old wide footprint you're gonna get. You can see that I'm not really over pronating all that much in this shoe and we love to see it. I just really enjoy the ride, I, I really liked it. Okay, so turning the more V4 over, you'll see we have some rubber in the forefoot and in the heel and flex grooves that kind of go throughout the forefoot. I like this rubber so far. I haven't had an issue. Well, I better not have had an issue. I've only run 10 miles in it, but I haven't had an issue yet. Feels good on the road. I feel confident. I'm not gonna be slipping and sliding all over the place. And uh, yeah, good outsole. The Fresh Foam More V4 is $149.95 on runningwarehouse.com. Pretty much exactly where I figured it would be in its price range. I think it's fair, it's a big shoe, you're getting a lot of shoe, and I think that it's gonna be durable and provide you with tons of miles. Uh, so 150, while may seem like a lot, I think it's justified. If you're interested in checking out this shoe and picking up your own pair, just go to the link in the description of this video, click that and pick up your own pair. Keep in mind this is an affiliate link with Running Warehouse, however it doesn't mean much for you, it just helps out my channel. And we could all use a little help now, once in a while, couldn't we? Speaking of help, I think that the More V4 is gonna help me to feel comfortable running no matter what distance I need to run. And I think it'll help you to do the same. If you're a runner who doesn't care about wearing a super shoe in a marathon, praise you. I think that this would be a very nice option. It is super comfortable, super cushioned, and there is no doubt in my mind it could go 26.2 miles and then another 26.2. Like if you wanna run backwards, it could do that. But if you don't wanna run a marathon in the shoe, I think it could go any kind of distance, five miles, 10 miles, 15 miles, you name it. And I think it would just be a good shoe to walk around in if you're on your feet a lot. I may keep running in this and incorporate it into my training a bit in the last couple weeks that I have left because I liked it that much. We'll see if I continue to like it that much.
Well everyone, that concludes my first run impressions of the New Balance Fresh Foam More V4. If you enjoyed this video, please like it down below and subscribe and when you're done with all that, hit the notifications bell so you can find out every time I upload a new video. <laughs> I do have a week's 10 and 11 recap that I filmed coming up on the channel soon. I just combined the two weeks because one was a cutback week and one was a heavier training week. Um, but in the meantime, while I get that all edited, you better get out there, get on the grind, and don't forget to run like heller. See you next time. I can't believe they were able to make this more chunky, but they somehow did. It's a lot of chunk on the screen right now. A lot of chunk. We're pro chunk here. Okay. Okay. It's time for me to stop filming. <laughs>